Galabunga, baby. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna look at a 2014 Crossroads Cruiser, model number 355BL. I don't know what the BL stands for, but it is a mid-bunk, four-slide, fifth wheel, in great shape here at Lazy Acres. Weighs around 10,400 pounds, 10-4. Let's flip around, see my buddy, Brandon Hannemeyer. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you don't mind liking and subscribing, we'd really appreciate it. Fantastic. We got ourselves a straightforward pin box here at the front. Nice molded front fiberglass cap. There are some eyebrow lights in here. I want you to show the top half of that, Brandon, because there's some fade on the cap, and the previous customer kind of fixed that up there with a different decal, like a darker brown decal on there to cover that up. Looks sharp on the outside, but I want you guys to see it. Right there, you got your uh, rougher style, style storage in through there. That's where your battery goes, uh, you know, your sewer hoses, that kind of fun stuff. And then we're gonna have a set of 30 pound propane tanks, one on either side, pass through storage in through here. Um, on up here on the left, we have the IntelliJack system, which will automatically level the trailer front to back, not side to side. Level front to back in there for you. And then we have our convenience center, so city water connection, flush kit, gate valves, low point drains. And then they've cut out this right here, making it nice, easy access to get to some of your wiring and stuff like that behind there. We have a 10 gallon gas electric water heater right there. This is our mid bunk slide. We're gonna slip through here. Once we get through, you'll notice there's an outside shower. And then a fresh water connection right there. Further back, fridge vent. A manual override for the other slide, and this guy is 50 amp service. All right, right on. Came from ECR. That sounds almost like a cult. Hey, Brandon. Yes. Brent, would you agree, Brandon? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> roof ladder. Get up on your roof. Check your seals. Looks like there's a little bit of a fiberglass issue here that's been repaired, where this ladder hooks on. Just so you guys can see that. And then we do have electric jacks here in the back as well as on the front. Door side slides, got some nice big windows in it looking out to the campsite, which is great. Another manual override for the other side. Three step entry. Nice 60 inch tires down there, nice looking aluminum rims. What kind of suspension, Brandon? We've got ourselves a trail air by Lipper, fantastic. Nice long window here in the, uh, in the door, which is cool. And then a window here in the hallway. Now take a step back, you're gonna see this slide here is a little different than normal, Brandon. It's actually built like a rhombus, so this part of the slide is taller than that part, which makes it nice and big in that front area. We're gonna see that here shortly. We have our furnace vent. The other side here, our pass-through storage. All this is nice and clean. Nice fresh unit, just got here at Lazy Acres. Let's, uh, let's have a look inside. Right on, folks, we're inside that Cruiser 355BL. We just walked in the main door, looking towards our rear living opposing slide area. Uh, as you come into the kitchen here, We've got a good amount of counter space on either side of the oven. The oven itself is a three burner with a nice deep oven here, okay? And we've got some pop down pieces here, some drawers, okay? Solid surface, looking up through here, plates and cup action, microwave range hood, some more plates and cups, solid surface, and then some storage right in through there. To my left, eight cubic foot gas electric uh, fridge, part of the Patriot slash provincial package. That's a lot of peas. Storage here for all your DVDs. Roku TV that was upgraded. Shelf, shelf. Some shelving down here as well. And then we got our DVD player right through there. Now they have kind of rearranged some of the furniture, what's going on here. So they've added this table and chairs here at the back. Factory would have had uh, like an L-shaped kind of lounger here with a couple chairs here at the back. Uh, but they obviously felt the need to have a better uh, or a more substantial dinette, so they've added that here at the back, which is nice. You're sitting down in your dinner, you got nice windows beside you, and then we got uh, storage here across the top. All really nice, you know, cabinetry, very solid through here. And then over to this side here, uh, we've got, they've, they've kind of changed this as well. They've done a three-seater couch with a dinette table here in front. Obviously, to bring this in, the slide, you got to take the table off. Uh, I think a lot of people would probably leave this down because now you have the freestanding table and chairs. Nice big door side window, and then see how this kind of arches up here, which makes for a really nice window here uh, on the end of the slide. Further to our kitchen, uh, our fuses and uh, fuses, our switches are on this side. We got storage down here, storage down here. Same kind of thing in through there, and then stainless steel sinks underneath the solid surface counters, and we got ourselves. 
good amount of counter space on either side of the oven. That is the wrong way. That's better. See that matches, Brennan? <laughs> See that? Smooth. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah, fantastic. Storage. 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 And this one, I said 10,400 pounds. 10,392 to be exact. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I know you appreciate preciseness. Brennan. Fantastic. Uh, and then here's a mid bunk group. So the bunks are lengthwise, which is different than what we're used to seeing nowadays. But we have nice lengthwise bunks in here. Another one down through there. Each one has a window. And then look at all the storage here across the top. Okay, you kind of got to be a monkey to get to it. But you know, lots of storage there. If you're sitting up here in the bunk, standing on the bunk, you can get access to that nice and easy. And then, um, yeah, fantastic TV location. And then, did they see the uh, the ladder built in, Brandon? I don't think so. Fantastic. So the ladder's right there, making that nice and easy to get into the bunk area. Down the hallway, we talked about that uh, that window, which is nice. Porcelain toilet. Give her the old squat check. Beautiful storage here down below. Okay. All right, some medicine cabinet. I'm six feet tall. I'm not bragging. How tall are you, Brandon? Six and a half feet tall. Six and a half feet tall. Not bragging. No. No, I set you up at home, buddy. Um, lots of space in here. Really, really nice shower. Um, you know, easy peasy to get into. Awesome. Possum. Get a little close there, Brandon. You okay, buddy? Great shot. Great shot. <laughs> Probably had the bald spot in the back. Uh, queen size bed. Out in the slide. Windows on both sides. Nice front wardrobe here. Slide that across in there. You got a light there, hanging piece. Okay, and we got ourselves some more storage here. That's our laundry prepping through there as well. A little bit of a drawer down below. And then th three drawers here built into our dresser. Fantastic. Fantastic, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like it, subscribe to the channel, share that with your friends, and then email us if you want the trailer. Sales at lazyacres.com or you can call us at 705-833-2539. Have a good day.